we want to divide and write the answer in lowest terms. When we have a quotient involving a fraction, we write the quotient as a product. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So dividing by c over d is the same as multiplying by d over c, where d over c is the reciprocal of c over d. So looking at our first quotient, 7 tenths divided by 3 fifths, this is the same as 7 tenths times the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which would be 5 thirds. And now to multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. The numerator is 7 times 5, the denominator is 10 times 3. Before we find these products though, we do want to simplify out all the common factors other than 1 between the numerator and denominator. Notice how 5 and 10 share a common factor of 5. To see that common factor of 5 though, let's find the prime factorization of these factors. Well 7 is prime, 5 is prime, the prime factorization of 10 is 2 times 5, and 3 is prime. Notice when we use the prime factors, we can actually see the common factors between the numerator and denominator. So the 5 over 5 will simplify. 5 over 5 is equal to 5 fifths, or 5 divided by 5, which equals 1. So the 5 over 5 simplifies to 1 over 1. Now we can multiply, knowing the fraction will be in lowest terms, or simplified. Notice the numerator is now just 7. The denominator is 2 times 3, which equals 6. So the product is equal to 7 sixths, and so is this quotient. 7 sixths is an improper fraction. To convert the improper fraction to a mixed number, we would divide 7 by 6. There's 1, 6, and 7. 7 minus 6 is 1, which means 7 6 as a mixed number is equal to 1 from the quotient. And to find the fraction part, we put the remainder of 1 over the denominator of 6. Let's look at this problem again to show a different way of simplifying. As a product, we have 7 tenths times 5 thirds. In this form, we can simplify if we recognize that 5 and 10 share a common factor of 5. Because there's 1, 5, and 5, we would simplify the 5 to a 1. And because there are two 5s and 10, we can simplify the 10 to a 2. And notice how we get the same result. 7 times 1 is 7, 2 times 3 is 6. So this method is nice if you can see the common factors between the numerators and denominators. It tends to be faster, but when first learning, I think this method is a little bit better because using the prime factorization, we actually see all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Let's look at our second example. Here we're dividing by 4 fifteenths, which is the same as multiplying by 15 fourths. So this quotient is the same as 12 20 fifths times 15 fourths. So multiplying, the numerator is 12 times 15, the denominator is 25 times 4. To help us determine all the common factors between the numerator and denominator, let's find the prime factorization of these factors. The prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. The prime factorization of 15 is 3 times 5. The prime factorization of 25 is 5 times 5. And the prime factorization of 4 is 2 times 2. Again, here we're guaranteed to see all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. There are two 2's in common and one 5 in common. So 2 over 2 simplifies the 1 over 1 here as well as here. And 5 over 5 simplifies the 1 over 1 here. So the numerator is 3 times 3, which is 9. The denominator is just 5. So this product is the same as this quotient. And again, 9 fifths is improper, which is fine as our answer. But just to review, to convert to a mixed number, we'd have 9 divided by 5. There's 1, 5, and 9. We have a remainder of 4. 9 fifths is equal to 1 and 4 fifths. Before we go, let's also show the second method for simplifying before multiplying. So as a product, we would have 12 20 fifths times 15 fourths. In this form, if we recognize there's a common factor of 4 between 4 and 12, because there's 1, 4, and 4, the 4 simplifies to 1. Because there are 3, 4s, and 12, 
12 simplifies to 3. 15 and 25 share a common factor of 5. There are 3 fives and 15, 5 fives and 25. Multiplying, in the numerator we have 3 times 3, which is 9. Denominator, 5 times 1, which equals 5. I hope you found this helpful.